Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe Flash CS5. You've been wanting to start animation, but you want to know the very basics. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to create a basic motion tween. First things first, when you open up Flash, you want to go here to Create New Action Script 3.0. Click on that. Once you're there, you have a blank Flash scene here available to you. So what we have here is the first thing you want to know is I'm not going to show you any kind of coding today. What we're going to be working with is just an object, a timeline, and a motion tween. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have an object to make move, right? That's, that's how you're going to show it to your buddies and say, look what I did. This is awesome. So let's go ahead and draw an object here. I'm going to draw a rectangle. So I'm going to go up here in the far left corner, and I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to make the fill color of that rectangle a nice bright green color. Uh, excuse me there. I am not going to do that. I have to select it first in order to do that. So once I do that and I make it green, I'm going to go back over here. Now, let's create our motion tween. First things first, you want to select the object you want to move, so make sure you have it selected. Go down here to your timeline. On the first keyframe, these are called keyframes down here at the bottom uh, on, the, on your timeline. You want to right click or control click on a Mac, however you want to do it. Create motion tween. Create motion tween. The selected item cannot be tween. You must convert this to a symbol in order to tween. Do you want to convert and create a tween? Yes, you do. It has to be a symbol in order for it to be created into a motion tween. Select OK. Now, it'll automatically take it up to 25 uh, to the, 25, uh, the 25th frame there. So go ahead and select the item. Click and hold. Drag it where you want it to end up. So I'm going to drag it right here. And I want it to end right there. So you see now these little dots right here, this is your motion tween. Congratulations, you just made an object move. Now, I'm going to show you a little more in-depth things you can do. Now, you can even click on this thing right here, and you can actually make it bigger. So you can select the object here, you can go up here to the size, and you can rotate it, the position, or you can make it wider. Okay, I'm going to make it a little wider, and I am also going to make it a little taller. So let's go ahead and make it a little taller there, just like that. Let's reposition it here. So now we've made it bigger, and we've moved it from the top left corner to the top bottom corner. I'm going to show you one last thing that's going to make your mind blow, okay? This is awesome. If you see there, when I hover over the motion tween, there's a little curly line underneath my mouse. If I click on the motion tween and drag up, now... I have made a curved line. So now it's going to move and grow on a curved line. So hit Control Enter. I'm sorry, Command Enter if you're on a Mac. Look at that. We now have a motion tween and we have an animation. Granted, it's not that impressive. There's not that much coding in it. There's not that much graphics in it. But this tutorial was on how to create a basic motion tween. So I'm going to close out of that. Let's say you want to make it go a little slower. All you have to do is go down here where the timeline is, hover over the last keyframe in the motion, which is 25, click and hold, drag it to about 50, which will double the speed. Now there's more dots in between, and it will take longer. So hit Command, Enter on a Mac, or Control, Enter on a Windows, and look at that. Now your motion tween is taking a little longer, and it's slower and there's just so much you can do with this. In my next tutorial, I will show you how to rotate. I will show you how to do some really cool things. But this, my friends, is how you create a motion tween. Thank you for watching another Tech Guru video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. Have a great day.